It's like the wind, some say. Or gravity. You can't see it, but you know it's there. You can't find its button on the dash, or its chapter in the owner's manual. We have no drawings of it. We don't know how much it weighs. Can't time it on the track. Ask 10 of our engineers about it and get 10 different answers. But there's no debate about its existence. After just one day behind the wheel, it's the most valuable part of the car. The irreplaceable component. The thing you love more and more with every passing mile. The thing you instantly miss in any other car. The soul. For reasons mysterious and many, every Porsche ever built has one and always will. Porsche Taycan. Soul Electrified. The expectations are rather high. I think it must be pretty well known by now to what extent. I do not like electric cars, but that shouldn't prevent me from testing it in a fair way and to see if the car handles well. Most impressive. Of course, the car handles just like the way a Porsche should. Every meter you drive makes it clear you're in a car that was developed by Porsche engineers. The steering precision and the brake and throttle response, this kind of thrust is something no normal person has ever experienced. The continuous engine power from zero to full throttle without the slightest interruption of traction, a chassis that goes exactly where I steer it. It basically is all you could wish for. So much of the know-how I've appreciated about Porsche for 50 years is also to be found in this car. In the case of this car, it really is true that tears of emotion flow horizontally. Unbelievable. Hi guys, exciting day here today. I'm at the Porsche PT track and we are gonna do some very exclusive test driving. Behind me, you can see the new Mission E car, which is very, very exciting for Porsche and myself because the first day I've driven the car. So I'm gonna give it a run on the track and uh, see what it's all about. Obviously it's all wheel drive, incredible horsepower. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I've been waiting months for this opportunity to have a run. So uh, looking forward to it. Fair to say, as usual, I've done a good job. Yeah, that's going to be a game changer. Game changer there. So, test drive complete, and I must say, uh, as expected, very much a, a gorgeous piece of machinery. The guys did an incredible job. Uh, it reminded me at times a lot of the 919 because often we could drive this car just on, on e-motor alone and, and uh, on the electromobility side. So uh, a lot of what I say is stealth emotion, stealth performance. Uh, it's absolutely clearly a Porsche. Looking over the front wheel arches looks like a 918 as well. So uh, ergonomics and the view from side the cockpit is absolutely gorgeous. 600 horsepower, uh, that is something to behold. So um, I never got sick of the traction areas. So that was absolutely gorgeous. and the driving experience, how dynamic, dynamic the car was. You don't really feel, of course, the, these cars are a little bit heavier, uh, but in general, the, the, the steering and the performance braking agility was, uh, was a real nice surprise. So uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I've now uh, driven the Mission E baby, and I'm looking forward to driving it a lot more in the future. There's no question about that.